It was a little rainy at Eastlake on Friday, so that presented a new challenge for the guys. But round two of the Tour Championship by Coca-Cola is complete, and Henrik Stenson maintained his lead. He fired off a 63 on Thursday and did not go quite as low on Friday, but he has a three-shot lead heading into the weekend. The guy chasing him, it's Mr. Jordan Spieth, who shot a four under 66 for the low round of the day with no bogeys on the card, and he only putted 23 times to end up in solo second. Paul Casey shared second with Spieth until he bogeyed the 18th, so let's check in with him and see how he felt about it. And watch this, this was what he did. Look at these lips. That would make any plastic surgeon in Los Angeles jealous. Wait a minute, that's Photoshop, didn't it? No, oh, that is not we, we put that in there, that's not real. <laughs> it's real. Looks like something you see on an episode of Wicked Tuna. I think a lot of guys shared his sentiment and Amanda Balionis was talking to everyone as they came off the course and hopefully she stayed dry, so let's check in with her. Thanks, Kelly. The one thing I'm going to take away from a very rainy day two here at Eastlake is missed opportunities. Uh, every single player came through into the scoring area saying their rounds could have been and should have been much better with these soft conditions. Well, the problem was, was this course is still extremely tough. Add in some tough pin locations, this misting rain, which Justin Rose called like an annoying mosquito. Well, things just weren't easy. So I asked Rory McElroy, knowing how difficult these conditions are, even when they're soft, how do you balance being patient on the course heading into the weekend, trying to hunt down Henrik Stenson and being aggressive so you can actually catch him? And he said, well, when you try to be aggressive like I did on 18, the course can come up and bite you very quickly. Of course, he ended with a bogey, dropping him back to three under par. So he said, you really do have to maintain that patience. You have to know when to attack the pins and when to lay off. It's setting up to be an incredible weekend. It, it is projected to be just as rainy and dreary but it's going to be action-packed no matter what. Back to you. Thank you, Amanda. And a guy who had some interesting opportunities presented to him on Friday was Ricky Fowler. Fowler is one under heading into the weekend, and he definitely grinded it out to get there. He had to chip left-handed on the 13th, so points for creativity, but it did yield a double bogey. And then he tried something a little different on the 15th as well, and this time it paid off. Yes. He is hitting his driver off the deck for his second shot, and this time he walked away with a birdie. Uh. All right, that's all I have for the takeaway. Make sure to check back to PGAtour.com, where you can watch PGA Tour live all weekend long, and I will see you right back here Saturday night.